Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. Welcome to another episode of Does It Matter? As you guys all know, I'm trying to get this old Civic to do a sub nine minute Nurburgring lap time and I'm running into several issues. Now, the biggest issue I'm having right now is when I test things on my own personal test track, uh, I can't do more than six laps, which corresponds to about six minutes. And as you guys all know, basic math, six minutes is less than nine minutes. So that means that my brakes are kind of unusual for a nine minute Nurburgring lap time. Now, luckily for me, I hopefully have an answer and that's dot 5.1 brake fluid now the old brake fluid in this car I don't know when the last time was that it had been replaced but I think it's overdue and I'm very curious to see what the difference is between old worn out brake fluid and new dot 5.1 racing brake fluid so let's find out Right now you should see sped up footage of me testing the brakes. I did not do this on the test track as usual, but I did this on a large parking lot with runoff on each side. What I did was I made a rectangular track and then I accelerated and stomped on the brakes, turned around and did the same. And you should see the brakes fail right about now. Well, I've lost count on how many laps I did, so I have to check back at editing and see uh, how many laps I actually did. I've done 19 and a half laps, so that means that I've stomped on the brakes 39 times. Oh well, thank you editing Ruben. Anyways, I noticed that the brakes were getting worse at 5 minutes 37, and the moment I actually overshot my brakes, I don't know if you can see it, was 6 minutes 41 seconds. Now I'm trying to do a 9 minute lap time so I would need to at least increase my braking capabilities for uh, 3 more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never actually looked at the brake fluid of this car, so now that we've done some tests and know that the brakes overheat after 6 minutes and 41 seconds, it's time to actually uh, take a look at the brake fluid itself. Well, it doesn't look as bad as I expected. I expected it to be all black and gooey and it's actually not at all, so that's okay. The level is still a little bit low, but yeah, time to replace everything. There are four main types of brake fluid available on the market. Dot 3, Dot 4, Dot 5 and Dot 5.1. The main difference between the types is the boiling points and as you can see on the screen right now DOT 5.1 generally has the highest boiling point and therefore is the best one for racing. Always check the boiling point when buying brake fluid because sometimes a premium DOT 4 could have a higher boiling point than a cheap DOT 5.1. You can mix DOT 5.1 brake fluid with any other brake fluid except for DOT 5 which is completely different and should not be mixed with any other type. I, however, am just going to flush and replace everything. So, the car is all jacked up. Now it's time to replace the old brake fluid for some proper 5.1 brake fluid. Now, I could uh, spend a lot of time in showing you how I'm doing that, but fortunately, I've already done a how-to on this. So, if you're interested in how to bleed the brakes by yourself, check out the link in the description. So right now my car can brake under pressure for 6 minutes and 41 seconds. Now I'd like it to do at least 9 minutes. So that will be a 34% increase in duration. Now I have no idea if that's actually possible. So let's go to the expert and see what he has to say. Yeah, brake fluid. So Ruben has changed his brake fluid um, from dot four to dot five point one, and it's all about the fucking goddamn brake fluid. It's always about the fucking brake fluid, fluid, fluid. So yeah, the car is uh, like uh, mostly. I think it brakes like better, so it will be uh, uh, two percent faster. So, time to test everything out with the new brake fluid. I'm hoping for a 34% increase and the expert thinks that the car is 2% faster. Anyways, uh, yeah, we got 6 minutes and 41 seconds to beat and 39 times of heavy braking. So, let's speed up the footage and test it out. Thank you. 
10 minutes 24. That's a whole lot better. Now, I am actually quite interesting in how many laps I did. But um, yeah, let's go back to the garage and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about how it went. Right, conclusions. With dot four, I was able to do 39 corners. And with dot 5.1, I was able to do 57 corners, which is an improvement of 31.5%. With dot 4, I was able to drive for 6 minutes and 41 seconds until my brakes were overheated. And with dot 5.1, it was 10 minutes and 24 seconds, which is an improvement of 35.7%. Now, as for brake responsiveness, if we got a little graph here, this is the brake responsiveness, and this is time. You could see that it went fine, but after a short while the brake responsiveness was almost completely gone and I overshot my braking point but with dot 5.1 after a longer time it got a little bit worse and then it just gradually got worse it I didn't really feel like it completely declined like last time and I did overshoot my brake at one point but it wasn't that bad as with the old brake fluid so definitely a big difference there now I still want to install some really cool parts but I've noticed that with all my braking tests uh, my brakes my, my front brake pads are pretty much gone so uh, I need to improve my brakes a little bit so that's what I'm going to do for the next episode and then you know all the cool stuff I've laying around just has to wait for one more episode because uh, otherwise we can't do some proper tests if these brakes actually wear out completely so yeah guys that's it for today i hope you guys liked it leave a like if you did and hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and then hopefully we'll see you guys next one bye